Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to create a droplet or virtual machine in DigitalOcean. So and af after that I will also show you how you can access your virtual machine or droplet through the terminal in your local computer. So let's begin. So before uh, everything you should have uh, uh, a DigitalOcean account uh, created already and after you have the account then you should click on the create button and here you can see a lot of option we just need to click on the droplets and here you can see a lot of options we will not talk about uh, about every function or every feature here but uh, we will uh, you talk about the very basic uh, thing for example we just want to set up a basic Linux uh, uh, virtual machine so that we could access from terminal so here in the distribution you have uh, different uh, uh, flavors of the Linux and we will use the Ubuntu and here you can see that there are different uh, versions I, I want to use the latest one and here are the plans uh, that which plan you want to use so for example there are a lot of options in the basic I will say use a very uh, cheap option that is five dollar per month so that I could show you just demo it has one GB uh, CPU uh, actually it is it has one CPU and one GB RAM 25 GB SSD and 100 GB transfer so next you should uh, uh, select the data center region that in which uh, region you want to host your server so there are a lot of option you can choose anyone let me select uh, New York and here after that this is the important thing it is as uh, here you have to tell that which authentication method you want to provide because after this you want to access your virtual machine so there are two ways to access one is the through password and second method is through SSH keys so in the digital ocean if you already have created some SSH keys then uh, you it will show you list of the SSH public keys that you have stored in the digital ocean but if you have not uh, created uh, any SSH key yet then uh, uh, you will have to click on the new SSH key button so in this co computer at this time I did not store the SSH key in the digital ocean so I'm going to create a new key uh, so let's do that now uh, I will show you how to create a SSH key for that go to your home directory and in the home directory type the, let me zoom it so that you can easily zoom it okay so here I want to create a new SSH key for that go to CD dot ssh folder that is uh, in the home directory hmm. okay it is saying that ssh key folder is not there so before that you should create ssh key that would automatically create that folder so for that let's see the command uh, so this is the basic command that we, that we can use So we just need to use this command and let's type here and change the email for example my contact at ayastech.com it is generating uh, the keys for you it is asking for your password it's up to you if you want to set a password I will not use any password so I will just press enter and uh, then again press enter now you can see that 
the SSH key has been created. Now let's check cd.ssh. Now you can see that uh, we, uh, we are able to enter the uh, in the SSH folder here. Let's see the content of this directory. So there are two files generated that one is id underscore rsa and uh, second is id underscore dot pub. So we need the uh, data of this file. So to get uh, there, there can be many ways to get data of a file. Uh, for that, you uh, I will use the cat command that is id rsa dot pub. So it gave you a lot of code that you just have to select all and copy. And now click on the new SSH key button and here add the code. So here you will type the name. It can be any name. So, so let's add it. Uh, with this step, you will have access to your SS, uh, your uh, Linux machine, virtual machine. So you will not have to enter any password. You can directly access your machine without any hesitation. So here you have to tell that how many droplets you want to create. I will keep it one. Now you have to tell the name, uh, type the name of your droplet or you can type any name. So let's keep it demo. And here you can type tags. You can also enable backups if you want to. Uh, that uh, you would be charged uh, extra one dollar per month for this. So now I'm going to click on the create droplet button and see how it goes. <clears throat> so you have to wait for some time and see. So it will be completed uh, very quickly in maybe one minute or less. <clears throat> okay, the server is ready. Now you should just uh, come here and copy the IP from here. And uh, now we want to try it, uh, try to access it from our local terminal. For that, type ssh root at and now paste the IP address that you that you just copied from the droplet, uh, the DigitalOcean droplet. Now I'm going to press enter and see if I am able to access it or not. Yes. All right. Now you can see that I have entered in that my new virtual server Linux. You can see we have uh, now full control in this. You can do anything in this server. So, so that's all. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to create a droplet and how to access it through terminal. So I have done that. Thank you for watching my video. Hope to see you soon. Later, bye.